in order to have uh, air superiority or land superiority, you have to have spectrum superiority. If the spectrum is compromised, then you lose your ability to communicate, which then makes it more difficult to conduct operations. And so uh, EMSO, Electromagnetic Spectrum Operations, uh, is a critical component that is necessary for all operations in a contested environment. We're out here at Forward Operating Station Sailor Creek for the Phoenix Dawn exercise. Our primary objective was to demonstrate Aspect War, Intel, and Cyber working together to locate a hostile RF target in a contested environment. So the main objectives were to set up our C2 command and control, uh, as well as our nodes and other uh, sensing equipment. Once we established that, then we did a drill with uh, counter UAS, where we were able to locate the pilot location using RF geolocation technology. Drones are a massive um, benefit for our enemies, and we need to learn how to detect and uh, disable said drones. And so we're out here trying to figure that out. We have a big open range where we're not interfering with anybody else and we can get a lot of practice in doing this stuff. Radio frequencies are all around us, so we have equipment that can detect those signals and pick through them. We have nodes out that go, okay, that's, that's a Wi-Fi hotspot, or that's a cell phone, or that's a drone operator. And we use all that EM equipment to detect and possibly disable uh, said drone operators and or drones. Being ahead of the curve is gonna be very important to keeping our airmen safe. Uh, it showed when we were able to detect them and properly coordinate our response that we can eliminate these targets without uh, harm to our airmen. And in the future, that is gonna be critical to winning the next fight. That was in, in the morning of the 7th. In the afternoon of the 7th, we simulated a uh, ISET mission essentially trying to locate a hostile GPS jammer. The TACP team went out with a support element. Uh, we heard reports that there was some jamming equipment out to our east along with a simulated surface to air threat. So the direction finding equipment that we were using that we were borrowing was called a Kraken. It just picks up on emissions, uh, can detect them, what frequency range it's in. And it was kind of giving us a direction and bearing and distance on how far it was, so we kind of knew as we were coming up on it. Which allowed us to jump out of our trucks prior to being seen by the, by the enemy. And so we could go find some high ground, get eyes on the target. Our GPS was getting jammed, so basically we had to hand map and compass. Hey, we can see the target, we know where we're at. Had to get a range to it, figured out where the target was, and then able to pass the coordinates off to the operations center here. They relayed it to our higher headquarters, and then later on we got tasked with F-15s to come simulate the strike on the target that we found. I think the exercise was a success. We met all our exercise objectives. We were able to really put together a joint operation because we had uh, personnel from uh, JBLM with the Army. We had active duty Air Force. We had three different vendors here that provided some of the latest, most advanced electronic warfare technology available on the market. And we demonstrated some capabilities that uh, would not have been able to demonstrate uh, without their support. So I think we met all our objectives and it was a success.